need um well not yet but basically to do it's like too early and I feel like people are um Vespa. super nervous because I, I mean so far so good I I've never had it be so like good I'm really surprised Hi! we did it yay first imposter <laughs> wild for me just in the sense that I had some other ideas I was brainstorming other ideas and initially I had a white wig that I was gonna uh, dye like half pink and then I have my pink dress that I wore for my birthday video that I was gonna put a nice big skirt on and then I was contemplating initially to do like half pink devil and then just pretty girl on the other side kind of thing but it just didn't feel like enough and then especially with the wardrobe to do like a dark pink on top and then a light pink on the bottom it wasn't so like two-sided as much as I wanted and then I just kind of kept looking at this dress and I was looking at skulls and um yeah I was like hmm how could I do this in a way because I don't, again, the whole reason why I'm doing the whole Zodiac Halloween is because I'm tired of just the traditional good versus evil. And if I'm truly tired of that, I can't exactly go ahead and do that for Gemini. So with Gemini, I wanted to show the duality of possibly being traditional and being modern, being alive versus being passed away. 
and those kind of dualities I wanted to pull on. So I hope you like this look. Um, see how I put it all together because I think it was probably the one that took me the longest. I mean, as expected, but I think it also took me the longest just because I just was worried that, that something could go wrong at some point. So it's not like... I, don't know, I just hope you like it. But enjoy the video. Welcome back my Geminis and listeners and just everyone enjoying the special. So I am starting off here with some moisturization, you know, the usual. You gotta protect your skin, put on a layer and whatnot. Now I will talk a little bit about the process, but I have some things on my mind. And of course, if I intend for this to be a just listen type of playlist, then, you know, I can't just be talking about the video. I gotta talk about other things. And so, as I mentioned, I wanted to create a duality between death and life. And, um, you know, the real thing is we only know about one. <laughs> That's all we know about. And we know the other is a part of the other. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Isn't that like the most Gemini thing ever? So death is a part of life. Have you guys ever heard of that? Like I've heard of that saying and it's definitely um, an interesting perspective. Gemini um, has grown on me a ton. Like I've heard of other people not liking Geminis. I've heard of other people making jokes about Geminis, um, and even Geminis joking about being Geminis, you know? So I've heard of this, and so never really looked into it or understood much about it, but the truth is, aren't we all a bit of two sides, you know what I mean? We have our introverted moments, extroverted moments, I mean, like, I'm sure, yeah, there are some extreme cases, but there are a lot of us that are right down the middle. We are both. <laughs> and I think it's okay to be two things. Um, comment down below two things that you think you are. Like, let's just open up that dialogue and let's talk about it in the comments. Now, another thing that I wanted to talk about, and I just had it on my brain, and my brain is having a fart right now because this is like halloween week and um this project is so freaking fun and like oh earlier was a bit overwhelming but then one of the looks that are gonna be coming out were so good and i really liked it and um it was giving me like superhero vibes and i love that thing as well so yeah so as far as accuracy for ribs and stuff you know the Virgo in me wanted to like double check and stuff, but I held back because I'm like, this is art, you know, relax, not much accuracy needed. However, I did make sure I put some dots on the bones. You guys will see that in a moment. Eventually, I put some dots on the bones because they're actually, if you look at bones in a microscope um it actually kind of looks like a tree um it's kind of circular and there are holes to me it looks like a, like a tree <laughs> and um i was like dang that's that's a cool thing to <clears throat> cool thing to know um and so i did put some dots so i, I couldn't help myself a little bit on some accuracy but that, that's about it. Everything I just like did my best. Again, this was another project where I didn't know <laughs> the full plan. I can't sit here and tell you guys enough how much I wing this and how much fun that is to me. It's like, if this F's up, I'm so screwed because it's a pain to clean and like it's really not a pain to clean but it is a pain if you mess up 
if you guys understand what I mean. You know, like if you mess up and then you have to re-moisturize and... <clears throat> but, hey, as far as failure, failure is also a part of life. We are th that duality. We are failure. We are success. Did you guys like that segue? Because I feel like I'm about to sell you guys something. What should I sell you guys? What do you guys want me to sell you? Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yes, failure is a part of life and so is success. And when it comes to doing this Halloween thing, it's so different from anyone I know. However, I know that people are appreciating it. And I am a big appreciator. I was just talking to my mom today about it. I appreciate everything. I don't take anything for granted. And that is me being that one side of that Gemini. That life. Um, living life to the fullest. Um, just can't help myself, honestly. And I think a lot of us, and there's no fault in and any of us for doing this. I think we get sidetracked and we get distracted in drama, we get distracted in life, we get distracted in um, our minds. Ne just we build up this negativity, you know, and we we're so stuck that we don't live. We don't pour water into our life we don't nurture our life to grow and so again you're gonna see me at some point separate the two sides and put like some grass and have the butterflies kind of be attracted to um, well I don't know if really butterflies are attracted to dead things probably not but I wanted the butterflies to kind of seem interested in the dead body because I also wanted there to be a connection between tradition and a connection between appreciating um, those that have come before you. Because, hey, if they didn't come before you, you wouldn't be here. So there's a lot of... Uh, now, like, talking about this, I think I did. I think I did. I'm going to pat myself on the back. I hope you guys really like it. Um, schools shouldn't ever go out of style when it comes to um, the other de los muertos, of course. But it also, I feel like, needs more of a highlight on Halloween. Like, isn't well? I was gonna say, isn't it supposed to be connected? I know not necessarily, but I feel like there needs to be another connection appreciating those that have gone before you is such a beautiful thing and um i realized like my mom always had like her altar she always had one and i never really thought much of it like she's the most religious person i know and um i just thought hey that's her her style you know what i mean and um, never thought much of it, but I think it's truly, like, I, I, I don't want to sound like so young, but it is one of the dopest things. Um, but on at the same time, just a reminder to appreciate those that are still alive. Give people a call. This really makes me want to call my uncle and check up on him. Um, and on top of this, spending time with my mom, spending time with my dad, time, I think, is one of the most valuable things. And it's wonderful to utilize it for, utilize it for creating things, whether you're creating children, creating projects, creating businesses, um, creating yourself, creating your fortune. Like, if you're using your time in that way, awesome. But also remember, um, utilizing your time together. I feel like it represents what I was painting. And I hope you guys are feeling it and getting it. <clears throat> if you're, like, I'm not super good at drawing butterflies. And I contemplated doing, like, 
initially a big butterfly on one of my eyes and I liked the idea but I was afraid about taking pictures and not being able to like um, make emotion come through the pictures. I, I will say with this look, although I love it, um, it wasn't as connected to me to, to be the model of it it was more overpowering like haven't you ever worn a dress that overpowered you like the dress was more of a statement than you were a statement the same thing kind of happened with this art um you know fashion can be like that it can overpower their models so i felt like the butter one butterfly was going to do that and make it difficult for me to model it but in fact the skull and like the whole idea and concept is just meant to be art and it doesn't really need much else um so instead of doing a big butterfly i did the mini butterflies i'm not like super crazy good at doing butterflies but if you are to try it i um by yourself i do recommend just making like a bee and then once you've made the bee like flare the end, like bring the ends together almost like a petal. And then you can just use different colors to create dimension. So anytime you're painting something where you want to create dimension, either you want to go from like dark to light and think of how light would hit it, which I didn't do with this, um, this project, but I have done with uh, others. Um, or you just want there to be outlines and you want the the outline to be one color and the inside to be another color and um i really wanted the butterflies to seem very friendly and lively and i did do um a lot of like goldness on my skin on that side because i wanted it to be very like alive and i didn't go too crazy with the um adhesives i just did like a couple little um teeth but thank you so much for listening comment anything down below go follow me on instagram why did we fight i don't know it makes no sense it though. makes no sense sorry look at my eyes you're such a dick sometimes. I know I am a dick sometimes. People think I'm so nice, but I'm such a dick. Thank you for being nice. And you get so mad. Oh I my god. I feel like you want to kill me. I do want to kill you.